babies are gross and too expensive. I can't even shop at Gucci anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> Hold on. Did that mean Mom just abandoned her baby? Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to stop this poor baby from crying. Maybe I'll just pick her up. Come here, little one. It's okay. There, there. It'll all be okay. Um, just don't panic like I'm doing. Oh, that's not working. Okay, all right. Um, hey, you get that crying baby out of here. Oh, I'm so sorry, but her mom literally just left her here. Don't care. You're scaring away customers. <laughs> Hey, you can't just yell at a baby like that. I just did. Now, if you don't leave the pier in 10 minutes, I'm calling the cops. Now, get lost. You know, sir, you are terrible. Yeah, yeah, I... whatever. Try and tell me something I don't know. Don't listen to him, little one. It'll be okay. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. Awesome. Okay, she's asleep. Well... Since I guess I don't know your name, I'll call you Mila. Yeah, I like that. <gasps> oh no, it looks like it's gonna storm. Alrighty, Mila, let's go home. I gotta get you out of here. Okay, we're back, home sweet home. I just texted Sophie, my best friend, so hopefully she'll be here soon to help me figure out what to do with this whole crying baby thing. She's still asleep right now. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh no, I spoke too soon. She's awake. Don't panic, don't panic. Um, maybe she's hungry. Okay. Um, Mila, what do you like to eat? Okay, um, now would be a really great time for you to say your first words. Can you say pineapple? Okay, not quite. Um, chicken alfredo? Okay, maybe she's lactose intolerant. Hot dogs, steak, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Dusty! Hey, girlie, I'm here. You found a baby? How awesome! I've always wanted to be an aunt. Oh my gosh, Sophie, you're here. And I cannot be more excited to see you. <laughs> oh boy, uh, need some help? Definitely. She just woke up crying, and I don't know what to do because she just keeps crying, and it seems like all she can do is cry. Well, uh, she's probably just hungry, girly. What do you have? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I have meat skewers, uh, beef stew, barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs for a baby? Yeah, uh, babies can eat barbecue ribs, right? Ah! I'm gonna have to say no. Oh my gosh, Sophie, what am I gonna do? I have nothing to feed a baby. Have no fear. Auntie Sophie is on it. I'll take Mila and go to the grocery store and get some baby food. Oh my gosh, you're the best, Sophie. I know. Now, come on, little one. You wanna go for a ride in the car with Auntie Sophie? <laughs> Yapping. I'm not that bad of a driver. Now, while Sophie's gone, I'm going to hop into build mode and set up a nursery for little baby Mila. All right, now we're in build mode, so I have to figure out where exactly I'm going to put this nursery. I need a room that's, like, close to my room, so in case in the middle of the night, Mila starts to cry, I can hear her. So we're just going to go through and delete some things. Babies cannot use computers, people, so I'm getting rid of that. Now let's put some things a baby actually needs in this room, like a crib. Oh my gosh, perfect. It's so cute. And she's definitely going to need a changing table so I can change all those stinky, gross belly diapers. Oh, I am not looking forward to that. Let's add a few more things like this adorable stroller. We'll need that for when we go on walks. And I'm going to change the color of the walls. I need something not as boring as this white. So a light pink. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, hold on. We gotta get rid of the candles because folks, we cannot have an open flame by a baby. Oh, no, no, that is a danger. Let's add a teddy bear. <gasps> this teddy bear is like literally the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, It's kind of terrifying being that big. <laughs> so let's switch it out for a little bit of a smaller one. Cute, a unicorn. Yes, of course, she needs a unicorn. Everyone needs a unicorn because unicorns are amazing. I'll put it right by the crib. 
polar bear. I think it's a polar bear. Okay, we're looking good, but I think we still need a few more things like, oh, maybe like um one of those cubby storage things for when she's older and has a ton of toys, she'll have the perfect little area to store them. Whoa. Looking good. What else do we need? Oh, we need a few things on the walls. Yeah. These abstract paintings seem a little, I don't know, peaceful? Inspiring? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> it just adds a little pop of color. And we have to change the color of this stroller to pink. <gasps> what else? Um, a plant. No room's complete without a plant. All right, time for the finishing touches. Gosh, perfect timing, Sophie. I just finished building the cutest nursery ever. Ah, I can't wait to see it. Um, wait a second. Soph, where's Mila? Who? Sophie, the baby you were supposed to be watching. I should take her own car. You know, ride solo. Sophie, she is a baby. She doesn't have a car. Where is she? How am I supposed to know? Because you're the one who's supposed to be watching her. Oof. Right. Well, beats me. Oh my gosh, Sophie, this is not okay. We have to go find baby Mila. She's probably scared. I mean, she was abandoned. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mila is five years old now, which means she is going to school. Mom! Mom, 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 mom. I need help. I need help. Meet me upstairs. Coming, sweetie. Mom, I want to wear a princess outfit to school, but I don't know which one to choose. Ooh, that is a tough decision for sure. What are your options? Well, I have a green one, I have a pink one, and then another like purple sparkly one with a big poofy skirt. Hmm, okay, this is really tough, Mila. I don't know. I think maybe go with the purple one, because that's your favorite and you feel so confident in it. You're right. Thanks, Mom. Of course. I'll be downstairs waiting, but we gotta hurry. You have five minutes to change because you can't be late for your first day. Mila, where are you? You're gonna be late. Come on. Hold on a second. Where's your princess dress? Well, Mom, I decided to just be myself today at school. You know what, Mila? That's an amazing idea. It's so important to be yourself. And tomorrow, if you want to be a princess, you can be, as long as it makes you happy. Thanks, Mama. Of course. But uh, you don't want to be like me and be late for everything. So come on, let's get in the car. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hurry, Mom. You moved too slow. I can't believe I dropped her off at her first day of school. So to make me happy, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping cause shopping makes everything better. So I'm gonna head to the furniture store and see if they have like, I don't know, a new plant, a new candle. The tag clearly says $2. Why are you charging a hundred for it? Um, ma'am, the tag says a Walmart on it. Well, this is not Walmart. I don't care what it says. The customer's always right. Wait, I recognize that terrible voice. I think that's Mila's real mom yelling at that employee. You're so dumb. Get me the manager. Yeah, okay. One second, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> You're surely not the manager. No, ma'am, I'm not. I wanted to talk to you about your daughter. What are you talking about? I don't have a daughter. Kids are gross. Look, I saw you that day on the pier about five years ago abandoning your baby. What? How? No one was around. Ma'am, there was a whole line of people standing at the ice cream stand. Didn't you notice that? Well, you have no proof it was me. Well, why didn't you come back for her? Don't you want to know about her? Know if she's safe? Mila was scared. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Did you save her or something? And is that what you named her? Weird. But no, I don't want to know anything about her. Yeah, what, Mia? Whoa! I'm out of here. Where's the manager? <laughs> Mila is already 15. My pineapples do they look? <laughs> I know, it seems like just yesterday you casually lost her. Oh, come on, Brett, that was in the past. Get over it. Pretty soon, you'll be teaching her how to drive. Or, wait, hold on, better idea. Can I do that? Sophie, you are my best friend, but having you teach Mila how to drive is an absolutely terrifying thought. Oh, come on, Brett. I've only gotten 1,500 speeding tickets. It's really not that bad. We gotta focus. I I think I set everything up for Mila's sleepover party. We got the balloon, 
presents, I got presents, a confetti cannon that you just exploded. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can't forget the birthday cake. Did you get the birthday cake? Already picked it up. I have it in the fridge and the pizza money is already by the front door for the pizza man. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed, bestie. Seems like you got everything all handled. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. I just really want Mila to have the best 15th birthday party ever. Mom, hey, can we watch the Barbie movie tonight? Oh, hi, Auntie Sophie. Happy birthday, Mila! You know, actually, I'll run home and get my double feature DVD of Barbie 1 and Barbie 2, the Ken sequel. So that way you can watch both movies. Oh, sick! Auntie Sophie, you're the best. You hear that, Britt? I'm the best. I'll be right back, girlies! Alrighty, so we have the pizza, movie, cake. Am I forgetting anything else, Mila? I don't think so, Mom. You know, Auntie Sophie might be the best, but you're the best mom ever. Oh, Mila, you're so sweet. But hey, not to bring the mood down or anything, but since you're 15 now, I thought maybe this would be a good time to tell you about your actual mom. Ew, no, you don't need to do that. You don't want to know anything about your real mom? She abandoned me when I was a baby. She sounds mean and terrible, and that does not sound like a mom to me. You're the one who has actually raised me, taking care of me. I consider you my real mom, not her. Okay, Mila, but I want you to know that you're very special and honestly the best daughter ever. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. Change of plans. We're watching all the Mission Impossibles. Oh, Sophie, nobody wants to watch those. Are you kidding me? They're the greatest movies of all time. Mom, I'm nervous. Starting a job for the first time will always seem a little scary at first, but in no time, you'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. Yeah, but Mom, I've heard like so many horror stories of people working in retail. Do you think they're true? Well, Mila, just like in life, people can be mean sometimes. But that's why you have a manager who's got your back and can deal with those types of people. You sure? Of course. And you got this, sweetie. Have a good first day of work. Oh my gosh, I'll try. Ah, I wonder what the employee discount is. Don't forget to hook up your mom. You got it. What are you doing standing outside my favorite boutique? It's you. Yeah, it's me. What, are you stalking me now? No, it's been like 12 years since I've last seen you. Yeah, okay, cute, whatever. You're wasting my time now. I've got money to spend. Go ahead, be my guest. But when you go in there, you better be nice to my daughter. Oh, is that trash of yours working here now? Trash? Oh my gosh, she is not trash. She is the best daughter that you missed out on having. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she would have been a waste of my time and money. Lady, you are truly so mean. So what? Look at me now. I'm rich, baby. And you're just a dumb, dumb idiot. What did you just call my best friend? Oh, Brick, step aside. Don't you worry. Auntie Sophie's here to handle this terrible lady. Ew. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Hey, Mom! Um, what's going on? My manager sent me to check out what all the yelling was about. Oh, Mila! Hi! Um... Wait... That was my real mom. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, that's okay. Really? Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, I'm not gonna let a mean lady ruin my first day of work. I don't care who she is. I'm just glad she's off the property. Now that's the spirit. I think your Auntie Sophie took care of her, so you're good to go back inside and tell your manager that everything's okay. Will do. I gotta get back in there and make some money so I can buy a car! <laughs> oh, Sophie, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. I just can't believe Mila is leaving for college! <laughs> I know! I can't believe Mila's 18 now. She's all grown up. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna start crying again, Brett. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, okay, Sophie. Uh, I'm gonna go see if Mila needs any help with the packing. Ah, good idea. Just leave me here with all my emotions. Be right back. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Hey, Mom. I'm almost done packing. 
Sounds good. I was just seeing if maybe you needed any more help finishing up. Ah, uh, no, I, I think I pretty much got it. But if you want to go ahead and grab some boxes and take them out to my car, that would be awesome. Of course. I just, I can't believe it. It's so crazy to see your room like this. I know, right? Everything's gone. But I'm so excited to start a new chapter. And I'm excited for you. I'm going to take this box because it doesn't seem so heavy. But this still is really heavy, Mila. What do you have? in there oh you know everything i own <laughs> but hey real quick i just want to tell you i'm so proud of you for getting into the school of your dreams and for working so hard well mom i couldn't have done it without your support and taking me in when i was abandoned who knows what would have happened to me if i had to live on that pier oh well it was my honor thanks mom i'm gonna finish packing up the rest of my things and i'll meet you outside okay sounds great okay so oh so, what are you doing out here? Uh, well, I decided to channel my emotions into checking out her car to make sure it's safe on her drive. Oh, that's a good idea. How's it look? It uh, looks pretty good to me. She has enough oil. Tires are looking good. I mean, I honestly, I'm trying to think of something to prevent her from leaving, though. I'm not ready for her to go. I know, Soph. Me too. As much as I hate seeing her leave, we can't keep her here forever. She's got to go out and explore the world. Oh, why can't we go with her, though? Please, Brit. <laughs> I can't take it. How about we get a house next to her college campus? Yeah, yeah. How's that sound? Sophie, we can't do that. She'll be okay. I don't know, Brit. Please. Please, please, can we live on campus with her? Bestie, no. My mom is right, Auntie Sophie. I'll be okay. You don't have to worry. <gasps> all right, all right. Well, Mila, I... I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> Auntie Sophie, don't cry. This isn't a forever goodbye. It's just a temporary one. I mean, there's always family weekend. <laughs> Mom, uh, is Auntie Sophie gonna be okay? Mila, is she ever really okay? Uh, yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. Bye, Mom. Bye, Auntie Sophie. I love you guys. Bye, Mila. Text me when you get there. I will. Don't worry, Mom. See you later. <laughs> I can't watch. I can't watch her drive away. Nope, nope, that's it. I can't do this. No, no, no. No, you're not leaving. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sophie. Guys, I'm so excited! Mila says she has a surprise for me and told me to meet her at the airport with my suitcase. I wonder what she has planned! I know she's been crazy, crazy busy lately because she has a successful yeah. acting career and is about to star in her own Netflix original! Mom! Mila! Oh my gosh, it's been way too long! Mom, I've missed you! And I'm really sorry for not being around much lately. Oh my gosh, don't be sorry at all. It's totally okay. I understand. You have a busy life now. My girl's an actress. I know, it's kind of cool. But hey, as a thank you for everything and being literally the best mom in the entire world, we are going on my private jet and flying to Paris. <gasps> Paris? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mom, I've seen your mood board for years and you've always talked about how much you really want to go there one day. This is the greatest news ever. I you know, right? Now let's go. We don't want to be late. Hey, Jeff, checking in for my flight. Hey, Miss Mila. Of course. We're glad to see you. Is this your mom you've been talking about? She seems amazing and I don't even know her. And Mila, darling. It's so good to see you. I'm all ready for Perry. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, what are you doing here? Can a mom not come visit her daughter? But you're not my mom. Um, I'm sorry, but I think you should leave. Who do you think you are? I'm her real mother. You can't tell me what to do. You abandoned her. You wanted nothing to do with her. Yeah, you decided to come back now after I have a successful acting career. What are you looking for a free trip? I don't think so. Hey, that's no way to speak to your mother. You will never be my mother. Brittany is my real mom. Now leave before I have security escort you out. Layla, sweetie. Come on, 
Don't you think this is unreasonable? I'm being unreasonable? You left me alone on a pier when I was just a baby. But you know what? I'm done. And I'm done with you. Security? Don't worry, Mila. I got gotcha. you. Is there a problem, Miss Mila? Yeah, this fan over here won't leave me alone. Fan? Don't worry, Miss Mila. I'll take care of it. Have a safe flight. I'm not a fan. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. What? No! I'm your mama! Okay, now where were we? Heading to Paris? Oh yeah! Come on, Mom, let's go!